Don't forget to replace your cabin air filter in your Dodge Ram. I'm going to walk you through this DIY project and save you from buying an overpriced filter and the dealer overcharging you for this do-it-yourself job, all while breathing in fresh air. Let's go. In-cabin air filters for the Dodge Ram can range from under $10 up to $40 without installation. Here's an $8 filter and here's a $20 filter. I'm not an expert in filters, but with a little research, it probably comes down to the micron level. It says standard cabin air filters are typically around 98% efficient at trapping particles in the five to 100 micron range. This includes the majority of contaminants, but not the smallest particles of mold spores, soot, and tobacco smoke. It's written to capture smoke, mold, or pollen, you need to go down to the three microns and below, which three is the lowest car cabin filter I've seen. To give you an example how small a micron is, a human hair is approximately 70 microns, give or take 20 microns. Here's a nice chart that gives some example of micron sizes. My opinion, go with what you're comfortable with. If you're paranoid, also keep the friggin' windows closed because who knows what's coming in your car at these micron levels. Let's get this installed. Took everything out of the glove compartment to make things easier. There are two latches to get the door to disengage. One there. And one here. This space in the plastic is a give point to squeeze the side away from the open stop point. What we want to do is squeeze one end to release and then the other. I started from the left side and pulled towards the right using that space in the plastic to shrink the back of the glove compartment. I didn't pull forward. We want this latch to move towards the right. With some muscle, it freed up. When the left side unlatched, two of the hinges snapped out, which was good, but I still had the right side hinge attached. Here's a better look at the left tab. This connection with the string, no need to take it off. All this will do is make this job harder to when putting the glove compartment door back on. With some gentle pulling, the right side snapped out. The air filter is behind this cover. Pulling on the tab, the cover comes right off. There's another tab on the other side, which is a little bit tricky to get, but doable. Once the tab is free, the faceplate comes right off. To get a better look at these tabs, I found it easier to flip the back to unlatch the tabs. They had a press point, but I still found it easier to pull gently. Now the air filter slides right out. I haven't changed this air filter since I got the truck about two years ago, almost 26,000 miles, and I do take this truck on dirt roads. It's not recommended by the air filter companies and Dodge Ram to go this long. I'll give you a comparison against the new one. Okay, now the new versus the old. If you didn't know which was which, a pretty big difference side by side. One side is noticeably cleaner, stopping things from coming through the filter. I wonder if the dirtier it gets, the even smaller particles can't get through. If there are any cabin filter scientists out there, let us know. Let's get the new one in. These cabin filters have an arrow showing how the airflow should run. You'll want to make sure they're pointing the right way. These aren't square, so they do go in one way. You just have to make sure the right side is for the airflow and it slides right in. The cover snaps right on with also showing an arrow with the airflow going down.
to get the glove box on, we want to snap on the three lower hinges, lining everything up and opening and closing so they fall right in. I didn't have to use force to snap these hinges in. Open and close a few times to make sure things are smooth. Then push all the way to snap in the left and right pins behind the stopping tab. I've read different things to change this every six months, every year, every 8,000 miles, every 15,000 miles, yada, yada. I would think it depends on your driving habits. The more dirt, the more you change it. The more miles, the more you change it. I think I'll settle on every oil change, which is at least once a year. Put all the stuff back and let me know if this helped and smash that micron particle on the subscribe button.